Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rpnt.ca and today we're going to be talking about the drug Tamsulosin, also known as Flomax. Tamsulosin belongs to the alpha-1 antagonist drug classification. To get a good understanding of how the drug works, let's break down the words in that classification. So alpha-1 means that Tamsulosin is working on the alpha-1 receptors in the sympathetic nervous system, also known as the fight-or-flight nervous system. Alpha-1 receptor's main target is on the smooth muscle of the body. Some of the effects that we see with alpha-1 stimulation include vasoconstriction, contraction of the detrusor muscles in the bladder, and contraction of the prostate. The antagonist in alpha-1 antagonist means tamsulosin is blocking or inhibiting the alpha-1 receptors rather than stimulating them. So the effect of tamsulosin is actually the opposite of what the alpha-1 receptor is normally responsible for. This means that tamsulosin causes vasodilation, relaxation of the detrusor muscles in the bladder, and relaxation of the prostate. Relaxation of the prostate and bladder allows for better urinary flow. This is why tamsulosin is most often given to treat symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, which include frequent urination at night, also known as nocturia, hesitancy to urinate, pain during urination, and dribbling at the end of urination. Tamsulosin does have some off-labeled uses, including urinal stones. It is good to know that tamsulosin is not often given in the treatment of hypertension, as there are many better antihypertensive options. Side effects do, however, include hypotension, which may present as dizziness, drowsiness, and headache. Orthostatic hypotension is another side effect that is more common in elderly clients. It is the sudden drop in blood pressure, usually during a quick change in position, such as changing from lying down to sitting up. Always remember to monitor and assess for side effects of tamsulosin. Monitor intake and output as needed. It is recommended that elderly clients sit on the edge of their bed for a few minutes before standing up, this reduces the risk of syncope and falls from orthostatic hypotension. Tamsulosin is often given once daily by tablet or capsule without regard to food. And that's about it for Tamsulosin. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or visit rpnt.ca for more help.